To create an implement, we simply launch our tractor function menu, look for the uh, implement manager option, tap on that. We have then a plus symbol where we can add a new implement. We can then give it a name, press the green tick and brings us through to this page here. As options then, I have my working width of the implement, I have a, uh, a half working width, and now I have from the link arms to the working element of, the, uh, of, our, uh, of our implement as well. If I scroll further down, I get the option to say whether I want to have it as a front mounted implement, or it's a three point, three point semi, and then whether we are draw bar, clevis coupling, or, uh, or ball coupling hitch. If I say that it was a uh, semi-mounted machine, if I scroll back further up, is I get uh, another option. So I get a, a measurement going from my pit, from my draw bar through to the uh, to the pivoting element of the uh, of the implement that I could put uh, extra settings in. So if I put in a, a working width, I say six meters. It automatically populates then my half working width then of three meters. And then if I wanted to, I could say that my implement uh, extends back four meters from the uh, from the tractor and to uh, to where the say the wheels were on the implement was uh, was three meters back. Then I can put those uh, put those numbers in there. I can say whether that implement has a steering axle or a rigid axle on the tractor and then for my uh, coverage mapping to set a trigger to get the uh, the map to uh, color in where i've uh, where i've driven is i can select either it to be a a linkage operation engagement of the uh, of the pto whether it's an external contact switch that's uh, that's there on the implement engaging the uh, the auto steer on the on the tractor or I could uh, choose a, a hydraulic valve that uh, that triggers my mapping. And once I've selected my valve, I can sort of say whether it's going to be uh, doing a, a positive pressure on their negatives so of dropping the implement or putting the implement into uh, into float. And then I can do the uh, do the reverse to to stop the implement mapping. If I have an implement on the back of the tractor that wants to pull in one direction, be that say a, a soil engaging implement with uh, with discs and it always tends to uh, to pull uh, to the left or to the right of the tractor. The way to uh, to compensate for that on the on the guidance is to actually alter this uh, this center distance on the uh, on the setting. So if it's moving one way, I can uh, drop down on the on the figure. So if I say call that uh, two meters, we can see the implement has uh, shifted to the uh, to the left of the of the tractor. And therefore, then if I increase that figure, so if I put it to say four meters, we can see then it has moved it to uh, the uh, in the opposite direction out to the right hand side of the uh, of the tractor. There, yet my working width is still kept at uh, at six meters. If I want to create a front and rear mounted implement on the on the transfer to guidance, say for argument's sake, a front and rear mower combination, the way I go about doing that then is I hit the plus button, label up my uh, my front mower. If I put my working width in, say for argument's sake, three meters on there. If I scroll down further and say to uh, switch that to the uh, to the front hitch of the uh, of the tractor that now sets my uh, my front mower if i return back so we can see now we've got a front mower in uh, in here if i hit the plus button again add in a uh, a rear mower put in my uh, my working width say front so it's again of 3 meters that's now set a, a front and rear combination but 
if I look at the uh, at the screen, it has put the front mower obviously nicely on the front of the tractor, but it has put the rear mower straight behind the uh, straight behind the tractor. So for my way lines, is it would always be setting them out for uh, for three meters. So the way to uh, to resolve this, if we come back into our uh, on, into our implement manager, if I go to the settings for my uh, for my rear implement and I want to shift that out to the uh, to the right hand side is what I can do is if I was to measure from the from the PTO to my uh, to my first cutting disc is I add that distance on to my total working width so say Frank says it was a one and a half meter distance is in here is adding one and a half meters to my three meter working width would be four and a half meters so I put in a figure of 4.5. Now when I go back to uh, to the guidance screen, we can see then that it shifted the uh, the rear mounted mower completely out to the right hand side. And then if we were using the auto steer in the field, it would put my guidance line right down the uh, right down the middle, taking into account then effectively I'm working at a uh, at six meters. If I want to create an intentional overlap for my uh, for my implement, is I've got my implement set here, and it's got a uh, a working width here of uh, six meters. But if I wanted to uh, to give myself a bit of uh, bit of overlap on there, is I tap into this this box up here, and say for our sake, then I wanted uh, a ten centimeter overlap, so I just put in 0.1 hit the tick there and you can see then the screen has showed then that uh, I will now be uh, overlapping on my previous pass by uh, by 10 centimeters.